Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning All. And it is the year of the woman, and Movie Phone has named its new face, and it is Gray Drake. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> wow. I mean, we want the scoop on all the good movies. What's oh good? My gosh. What's yes. crap? I have so many opinions. I'm ready to share them. <laughs> but, and, that's so interesting, though, because you are really known for being so opinionated and stylistic. And, your voice. It is amazing to mostly my parents who have spent their whole lives listening to me that I've made this my job. <laughs> it's incredible. What was your journey to making this your job? It it was it's such a long twisty road, but We've actually, got time. okay, listen, pull up a chair <laughs> because the thing is actually with this topic of manifestation, yeah, it makes me think about how this is what I created. Mm -hmm. um, I have always loved films. I've always been the one that told my friends what movies to see when we were kids. I used Movie Phone to find the show times, and it really meant a lot to me. I'm a former filmmaker. And eventually I realized that it was just fun for me to talk about movies. So I did that as my hobby and now it's my job because that's what I created in this crazy brain. So did you go to movies? Were you one of those people that always went to movies or? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Movies all the time. Okay. If you were ever like, where's Gray? She's at the movies. Okay. Like mm. clearly, yeah. Okay. How'd you turn it into a career? Oh. I, I'm going to pass you the mic. <laughs> Thank you, our executive producer, because we really want to hear Let's this. get me on the mic. Check, check, <laughs> one, two. All right. So what I would do is uh, I podcasted for a long time and then got hired to write movie reviews because of the opinions oh, wow. I shared on that podcast. Oh, wow. And then all of a sudden CNN called and they said, hey, movies.com, do you guys have like a critic? And they were like, well, we just hired this pink haired girl. <laughs> and I worked with them for a few years, met the man who is now my boss, our great general manager, Matt Atchity, and he said, we need to revitalize this brand. We want a personality, we need people, we need a person who can recommend movies with confidence to all of our users. He's like, do you want to be Ms. Right. Movie Phone? Because I have to admit that I just rarely go to movies because they generally, I mean, in my opinion, they're just so rare that they, they pretty much all suck. Just We've all been hurt before, yes. I'm, I'm, I just can't, yeah. I have, I have PTJ as a breakup, you well, know. Now you know who to call. I know. And so, call me. Okay, so give us a rundown. Okay, I think that we've got a really good second half of the summer coming up because we've got a Spider-Man movie coming out. Now, I see this. I, you're giving me a dead-eyed <laughs> stare. Superhero movies are not your thing, right? Okay, well, Tom Holland is my thing. and I think that, <laughs> Now, for anybody that's a fan of, like, Avengers Endgame, one of the biggest movies of the summer, I think that one's really going to satisfy yeah. everyone. But what kind of movies are you into? I want the deep, profound, like I have a whole new shift of perspective on life when I walk out of a movie. You know, there's a movie that came out earlier this year. It's going to be available on demand pretty soon. It's called The Mustang. Ooh. And it's about a program where uh, inmates train horses. They train wild Mustangs. The Mustangs are auctioned off. This is something that we do actually right? in real life. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. And the movie is so touching. It's so incredible. It's, it helps remind everybody. I would everybody, like something like that. Sure. Yeah. There's such a balance between a movie like this and a Spider-Man. Like, there's room for everybody. Oh, totally. And of course, Spider-Man would be an amazing movie for that genre, right? Yeah. For but people I love who like it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. Well, that's what's great about movies is that everybody's opinion. It's totally subjective. We're all into something different. Are you guys excited about superheroes? Are you horror movie fans? What's your deal? I'm dying for your take on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, oh. my God. Okay. Quentin Tarantino, obviously is like a movie lover's dream as a filmmaker. There's so many stars in that movie. I feel like anyone in Los Angeles who's not in it should fire their agent. Probably. Because <laughs> it's like Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie. I'm a little concerned about that one because he made a bold choice in including the Sharon Tate murders in this storyline. And it's like, mm -hmm. our lives can be so challenging emotionally who wants to see that? Well, right? he's all about the extreme factor. But totally. so, so I have a question. So say somebody, say somebody just likes a certain genre. How do they find out and how do they know which critic or how would they know which one you're going to recommend for them? How do you do that? Well, that's the fun is that nobody ever knows what the heck I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things you can do is actually watch my new show, which is the Ms. Movie Phone Show. Mm -hmm. And so this summer, every week I've chosen one movie that I want to promote. And I'm doing the show, talking to the stars, talking to the directors, but doing it in a way that's reverent of the film that we're covering. Right. So. 
the premiere episode of Pokemon uh, Detective Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds. That looks funny. Actually. It was it was a great movie, mm-hmm. surprisingly. I never thought I'd say those <laughs> words. And but it's a mystery, so I did it as a film noir, right? And Ryan Reynolds was like, "This is what you're up to." And I was like, "Yep." <laughs> so you have like the coolest, I think, job yeah, right? for somebody who loves movies. What's the hardest part of what you do? I love doing it so much that I do it all the time mm. and I never stop. And so even listening to all of this talk in Chinese medicine, it's so important to stay balanced because I get tricked into working mm. all the time <laughs> and not sleeping. We we're just talking about travel and it can get a little hectic. And that's why, especially with this new show, I've been trying to figure out like, how do I stay balanced? How do I stay centered mm-hmm. in order to walk into a situation and be present with these people who have really affected my life. I love these actors, I love these artists, and it's important to me to be able to connect to them. Right. Oh, I love that. I'm very curious, Greg, what do you want your legacy to be? I think that the best part of what I do is making people laugh. Mm-hmm. And I mean, God, if I can actually teach them something on the way, like what movie they want to spend their hard-earned money on, when they get that one date night away from their kids, like how do they sort of enjoy it? I would love to be able to contribute to somebody's life like that. Aww. After a hard day at work, yeah. if they come home and watch my episode with you know me promoting the movie Shaft and just Samuel <laughs> L. Jackson being so patient with me. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that gives somebody a laugh, then I've done my job. Oh, well, your reviews have touched millions of lives, including mine. So thank you very Absolutely. much for that. Please tell everyone where they can see your new show and follow you. Oh my God, okay. So it's all over our movie phone channels and that's movie phone with an F, the way the good Lord intended, okay? <laughs> so it's all over Facebook, our social channel on Twitter. I'm on Instagram and you can find me at my name, which is Gray Drake. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much, Grace. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning La La Land.